Hey guys, welcome to another episode of DIY Millennial. Today we're going to talk about interview questions that you will be asked. So the first question they, the interviewer typically will hit you with is, you know, tell me about yourself. What the interview is looking for here is, the interviewer, sorry, uh, they're looking to, to get to know you. You know, what, what have you done? What's your work history? Uh, maybe something, something special about you, something different about you. Um, what they're really looking for is who are you as a person? What are your accomplishments? And don't forget, the whole interview, they're trying to, to see if you're going to fit with their... Um, with their environment, with their job, are you gonna stick with it? They're looking for retention, right? So so another question they might ask you is, um, it, tell me about your previous work history. And, and what they're looking for there is, you know, tell them how long you stuck with a job. If you left, make sure you have a good reason for it. If you don't have a good reason for it, try to glaze over it. Um, hit them with another topic. Um, and, and don't forget, uh, again, they're trying to find out who you are as a person and how you're gonna fit in with their, um, with their environment. So another question they might hit you with is why should I choose you for this job? You know, have, have a concrete reason. You know, I, I have performed very well in my previous positions and, you know, I did X, Y, and Z to get where I, where I did. Um, currently I'm looking for a new position in blah, 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 blah. You know, talk yourself up, you know, your, 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 some, some good achievements you have, you know, a difficult time. They'll, they'll probably ask you, you know, a difficult time, uh, you had adjusting to something, what you did, what you did differently. So you want to show optimism here. You know, you want to have your answer ready. You know, I, there was one time when my boss threw a bunch of work at me and how I overcame was by doing X, Y, and Z, um, how to do X, Y, and Z. So they want to show, they want to see leadership too you know how did you how did you learn from what you did how do you teach others um, you know so so what you want to do here is you want to explain who you are as a person I like that I ask that question a lot uh, as someone that, that has to do interviews um, I'm the interviewer <laughs> and, and what I really want to get down to is you know what have they done why should I select them um, and you know, again, I'm also looking, now my business is different, I'm in retail, so I'm, I'm looking for schedules first. Um, so I wanna know, hey, are you available 24 seven, right? And, and I'll, I'll ask that question, you know, what's your availability? And most of the time, somebody will give me an answer like, yeah, well, I'm available like Monday through Tuesday or Monday through Thursday or Monday through Wednesday, whatever. And I'm, I'm looking for, I'm here for you seven days a week. I'm gonna do X, Y, and Z. Um, now, if they just give me a, a, a typical answer, like, yeah, just like Monday through Thursday, without saying, I have another job, I need to work two jobs for X, Y, and Z reasons, um, that, that leads me to believe that they're just, they're, they're not really interested in, in being there. I want to see interest, right? So, so if they're saying, you know, yeah, I'm trying to survive, I'm doing X, Y, and Z, I am absolutely going to give you a shot. If you're honest and upfront at an interview, I am 100% going to give you a shot. Um, obviously, there's some more criteria I look for, but but that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the drive. I'm looking for somebody that wants to be there. I'm looking for enthusiasm. You know, even if you don't have work experience, if you come into an interview prepared, you know, you know about yourself, even even accomplishments you had in high school, college, anything, right? I'm looking for that enthusiasm. And when I have that enthusiasm, that's that's the the prime indicator for me that hey, this person might have something. I'm going to give them a shot. Does it always work out? No. But those are the kind of people I typically give a shot to. Somebody that comes in lazy, slouched down, doesn't have anything prepared, didn't bring me a resume, didn't bring me any questions that they wanted to hear. That's a person I tend to, you know, I tend to ask more questions and I, I have a, a feeling they won't fit in with the environment. Uh, my environment is high stress. And so I am looking for somebody with that drive, with that passion, with that speed. Um, and again, it's not always, it doesn't always dwell on experience for me, although I like to hear about experiences. That helps me decide if they can handle the stress and pressure. 
Um, but you know, I, I will listen and I and I will take notes and you know maybe maybe I, I will give a chance. But but the ones I'm more apt to give a chance to are the ones that I think are going to fit the mold that I think can do it. Um, they want to be there. They give me a reason they want to be there. So what I suggest to you guys is come prepared. Um, you're going to get all kinds of questions. But as an interviewer, those are the things I look for. Um, so again, if you have maybe a different take on this, leave a comment below. Get us a share. If you want to give us a direct message, we have that set up now. So subscribe at the bottom and have a good week, guys. Take care.